Welcome to One Woman, Three Views. We'll talk about sex, gender, social class, politics, education, even religion. Thank you for tuning in to the One Woman, Three Views podcast. Today's question is, how do we transition today's millennials to a traditional structure? I don't think that we can transition millennials to a traditional structure. Previously, men were always thought to be the powerful, more aggressive head of the household, um, take care of the financial responsibilities, and women were supposed to be the caretakers, the cookers, the stay at home. Sometimes that was perceived to have less of a voice and less of an opinion in the household. And I think now we have brought to the forefront as women more authority in jobs, in making more money, in leading, and wanting a man to not be behind us, but beside us. It seems that the transition went from the man being the head of the household, and as you stated, the woman being the caretaker, the nurturer, being looked upon as the helpmate. So it seems that the perspective from that generation to now has changed instead of women wanting to simply being the helper, the Eve to that Adam, we're saying you asked for us. If we go biblical, Adam said, I am lonely. I need a mate. He didn't say a helper with these sheeps and stuff. So even Adam understood, I need my equal. And then woman was thus made from the rib. Again, this is a biblical standpoint, not necessarily my opinion. So Adam was put to sleep and a rib was taken out of him and woman was created and they were equals. And I feel generationally somehow that equality was actually stomped out. So we went from being that man's equal to his property, to his helper, to his assistant to his homemaker, his nurturer. And that's why I feel generationally, we have reversed it and said, no, you need me now as you did then. You needed my creation to help you feel complete. When did that stop? I don't feel traditions have been broken. I feel that we said, no, 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 no. Me washing the laundry does not make me a woman. It is my voice that builds you up and make you want to be a better you that makes me a woman. It is how I raise not just the children, but that balance that we create is what makes us a woman. Generationally, we have redefined structure. But in that part of the problem is that we've relinquished control so much that we don't bother. We traditionally, we ate dinner at the same table together. Now everybody's in their room or at a table or in front of the TV. We, we, we don't come together as a unit anymore. All, even though we live in the same house, we could live in the same house and, and, and you have people that don't even talk. And the, and they're all in that same, you know, I- environment. So when I look at traditions, I look at the things that make us strong. What what were some of the traditions that we had? You know, uh, Sundays eating at Grandma's house. That's a tradition to me. Um, we don't we just don't do that anymore. You know, we said it previously about. Um, you know, we put try to put God on a timetable. We may we don't even go to church, and if we do, we don't want to be there longer than about an hour or so. And then we won't get out because we have so much we feel that we need to do. We've allowed work to be our new God, and our hobbies to be greater than our own kids. So it's difficult to bring children back in line when you cannot cook. It's one thing not to cook, not to feel like cooking, but it's a different not to know how to cook a meal, you know? And I think that's something lacking. We've gotten to a point, we don't even teach basicness. We don't teach our kids how to cook, how to clean, how to wash, iron, change a tire, put oil, put oil or, you know, little things like that. That was something that parents did, whether it was a, 
uh, whether we consider it a woman's role or the man's role, you don't, you know, somebody taught that young man how to, you know, check the tire pressure and do those kind of things, cut the grass, uh, shovel the snow. Nowadays, you, you have children that will lay in the house while their mother go out there and, and, and clean her own car off. That was never heard of when I was growing up. My mother would have never had to go out there and clean her car in the middle of the snow. My dad would have done it. He would have made one of us do it. In order to bring a tradition back, you must create a new one because we destroyed those. Those are gone. You can't say, go back to being the person that cleaned in your home and go back to cooking. Now you have to say, you know what? Instead of the women being in the kitchen, as a family, we're all going to go in there. You get a butter knife, you're going to cut some butter while me and your mama do this and that and create as a unit. That is what I feel has been the problem. Instead of the separations of fitting to this role as a man, fitting to this role as a woman, create that balance because we broke it. You don't have it to go back to. Once something has been demolished, you really can't fix traditions that we have long lost. Now a child can go and doesn't even have to ask their parent about information. They just Google it. Siri, tell me this. Google, hey Alexa, play this. You don't even need your parent anymore. I'm just waiting for the robot to get your milk and juice in the middle of the night. But that's, that's to the point that you have it. You don't even need your parents to be parents anymore. You can read on your own. And even to a point now, you really don't even know how, need to learn how to read. Everything will be spoken to you. Even your audio books. You don't even know, have to know what the page is said. You just got to know how to pay for it. That is it. And if you got a friend that has a, a parent with a credit card, the end. You know, went and shopped all on Alexa, Allegra, Google, and don't need anybody's permission. You just need one parent to sign in, and that is it. That has become the new generation. We don't need parents. I don't really need you until I need you to put in your password. I don't need you because most of us ride the bus. It used to be you drove them to school. They don't now. You, we have a design our children to be self-sufficient. And now you want to come and put a structure after I made you independent from the start? That is the issue. You got independent people, and then you say, you don't need me anymore. You made me this way. You created this. I think if the roles are going to change, basically as families, you would have to learn how to put technology into your family today. So I have two children. We can wake up in the morning. Let's cook breakfast. Okay, how do we make this? We can put Google right here and look at this together and then we can go ahead and start cooking. If we have a question, yes, we go to YouTube or Google. It is our number one thing and we can do it together. If my daughter wants to learn something, I have to put in the password for her app. So I think it's more as families, it's not gonna be the same as it was previously because that technology was not available. Now, because it is available, how do we implement it so that we can work as a unit, as a family together, would be more the mind frame to make it work for the family instead of independently separating everyone. Everyone has their own thing though, because everyone likes certain things. My daughter likes drawing. My son likes video games. I like anything in aesthetics. So how do we blend that together? The only time we blend it is when it's time for family time, looking for new ways to do things together in the home. So, and it works out for the most part. As a man, I want my rib back. I do. I want my rib back. Because your independence as a woman has elevated you to a higher standard of comfort. And what I mean by that is, is not taken away from women, period. It is you have, and I am definitely an old school guy, old school tradition. My mindset is still tradition plus microwave age and what I mean by microwave age is like you said the technology is right at your kids hands it's right there here I am use me for my generation it was 
research me. You want to know how to do it? You want to know, you go watch your mother, you go watch Big Mama, you go watch Great Grandma, you go watch someone who knew how to do it. And as they're doing it, they're writing it down the instructions of how they were taught. So when I say I want my red back, that's just my joke. But the independence of male and female at this level of life when it comes to the generational gap, how I feel you can bring the tradition back. We as the older generation have to show you what it's like to have your generational X, your millennialism with your technology. You can utilize your traditions with all the technology that you have because what happens if your technology breaks down? Now you're, 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 you're at loss because you don't know how to research that information. But if I can take the time out to show you, hey, you still have your technology, use that second hand, but let me show you how to do it this way. Yes, it might seem like it's taking us four or five days to get it done, but it's still done properly. Because if anything happens to where things break down and you don't have full access to it, because you're gonna be at work one day and they're gonna be at school, the computer shut down, or oh, their assignment is now lost in iCloud. How do you pull that back? How do you show them how to do it? You sit down with them and you work hand in hand. You're writing it out. You're showing them how to do it. Because even though as Americans, we have it easy, but once you are able to transition and go overseas and see how they have worked their technology with their tradition, their culture, it is so systematic that they can, transi they can transition from technology to hands-on. Whereas Americans, we don't know what even hands-on is anymore. Everything is system. Everything is systematically by computer system. It is by Google, Alexa, Siri. Once we stop the technology and begin to take the time out to evaluate and look at our children and say, "Hey, I understand you have it this way. Yes, it's easy, but what happens if?" So it begins. I have to teach you and well, not teach you. Let me show you. Yes, you have this access here, but here is another access role for you to have. Because once you get away from your elementary, your middle school and high school and you hit college, all of that technology that you've already had from then to now really, in my opinion, doesn't exist once you get there, once you get to college, because now it becomes hands on. Our children and why a lot of our younger culture become lost in our educational system is because as our generation from generation to generation, we allowed our technology base to teach them. But when they get to college, they don't understand tradition will always win over your technology base. But if you don't have the know how to do it hands on, and we can't, and we, as you say, that it's hard to bring tradition into new. It's not that it's hard to bring tradition into new. We just refuse to do so. So as if you're looking at Big Mama, Big Mama for us was 5660. Big Mama noun is 3640. At some times, it doesn't matter what race, what color, it doesn't matter, any of that. Big Mama is now under is under 50 at some circumstances. And it's not a bad thing. It, it, it is what it is. But we have to still know that our traditional values, if you were shown or taught tradition or you saw it, implement it slowly and walk them through it to say, this is your backup plan. My backup plan is technology. My full access to the world is hands on. Yes, you have computers and you have robots doing A, B, C, and D. But if you don't know how to fix that robot, what use are you 
to A company, B company, or to that robot. Well, I'll touch on that and say this, though. You speak of the traditions that the big mama has taught, but unfortunately for people my age and even younger, we weren't taught that. It was That is where that ended. Big mama taught our mothers and fathers. Our mothers and fathers chose careers. We did not learn that. You didn't get the art of dating. You didn't necessarily, I know a lot of people were not taught chivalry. Most guys that I have met don't know how to change a tire. Their fathers didn't teach them. That's not big mama's or, 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 or big daddy's fault. That's not papa's fault. That's not grandmama's fault. It's our parents. So in order to have that tradition meet tr uh, technology, we would have had to have been taught a tradition in the first place. A lot of us weren't, but now we are adults. So the same people who were taught those traditions didn't pass it. But we are to blame, unfortunately, and I don't feel that that part is fair. You are to blame me for breaking a tradition that was never passed on to me. You didn't teach me what it was necessary to be a wife. It was taught to you. Wifely duties, traditions. I don't know how to be a wife, but I do know how to be a successful woman. I was taught independence. I was taught to stand on my own. I was taught strength, empowerment. That is what I was taught and the examples that I saw from even the women in my life. Education. Get your education. That is how you succeed. We have Americanized our children, our generations, and then we say, ah, let's go back. Well, you can't go back. Only thing you can do is go forward. You can go forward and you have to create a new tradition. I would say, for me as a young kid, my dad said from day one, I don't know nothing about fixing on the car. I don't even know how to change a tire. Okay. If you don't, who do? Well, lo and behold, here comes my mom. Well, you get the jack out the back and this is how you do it. Well, you take this port, put that port in that port, and you do this. Uh, okay. But how you get the little round things off of that? And it's like, you telling me, but you ain't touching this. I can't get it. Well, jump on me. You want me to jump on what? The core or this board? But once I learned how to do it, and he found out, hey, he's growing up. This is something I don't know how to do. Let me take you to someone who does. So when you begin to say, how do you take tradition and bring it into the now? It becomes, I know you got all of this here. I just want you to come with me and watch me. Not that you got to stay here for a long time. I want you to come and watch me. Because one day, you might have to do this without me. And I think you made a valid point um, of knowing how to, just in case, it's in your back pocket. At least you know how. And I think that is essential. Um, when my father taught me and my brother how to make homemade donuts by using biscuits, our mind was blown. We was like, what? Yo. Now, we never had biscuits after that because they all became donuts. <laughs> 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 but I do like the fact that you said show once and at least it's in their back pocket. All jokes aside, I do feel that is a valid point. Show them and then they'll take the pride in themselves. So I want to thank my guests today, uh, Michelle, Marquita, Racy, for being a part of the One Woman, Three Views podcast. I totally enjoyed our conversation and tune in every Saturday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time.